Hello, I'm Mr. Kennedy from Thistle Huff Academy, and this is my third Principles blog. Today, I'm with Miss Stewart, who is our wonderful head of maths. And um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to have a look at maths um, from the classroom perspective, from a teacher's perspective. Miss Stewart is going to talk a little bit about what you should expect to see as a parent in our maths classes, and we'll round it off with what some of our students think. Miss Stewart, tell us a little bit about maths. Okay, so we're going to show you around some typical maths lessons and um, what you would expect to see is that the students will come in um, and sit the DNA, which is a do now activity. So they'll come in and have some questions that will be related to uh, previous work and, and um, skills that they've learned before. Um, once that is complete uh, and they've marked and checked the work, then they will um, be exposed to some um, new learning and will introduce the topic and relate it to other areas that they've also learned before. Um, we will then go through some examples on the board and we'll model um, certain questions and then we'll get them to do some mini whiteboard activities. So from then they will um, have a go at some of the questions themselves. Um, they'll show us the answers on the whiteboard so that we can see um, whatever student is thinking and how they've interpreted the examples and we'll give them some feedback based on their mini whiteboard questions. At that point they will then go on to do an independent learning activity where they'll have some time to process and do the work themselves and they will then mark the work at the end to check to see that they've got those questions correct and they'll get some feedback from the uh, teacher at the end of that uh, independent learning. Okay, so shall we go and have We're a look at some lessons. Thank you very much, okay. Mr. Three P equals T minus seven X. We're asked to find what T equals. I'll take a handle for this one. So I got, uh, I rearranged it to be T equals three P minus seven X. Okay, you've got the three P bit. It's not minus seven S. What do we need to do with the seven S? Can anybody help him out? You have to add the 7s. Why? Because we're doing the inverse over here. The first thing then on your boards that I'd like you to do, can you please share 63 in the ratio 3 to 4? Okay, so not just busting like the answers on boards. Can you make sure that you are having at this question, Ben and Jerry, share 41 pound 14 in the ratio 2 to 7. How much does Ben get? Please make sure you are showing using your models, okay, using your diagram. Okay, show me your answers, please. Okay, great. I've got lots of similar answers. Okay, some people need to make sure to put the board down and look this way a second. Okay, put the board down, look this way. What you need to do now, you look five and you look seven. What is the lowest common multiple going to five and five and seven? Gone? Thirty-five. Thirty-five, well done. So then I'm going to change that into 35 and write it next to it just so it's easy for you to see. Now, from 5 to 35, what do you do? Times by 7. Good. So whatever you do to the bottom, you can't do to the top. That's what you put the equivalent fractions. So if you times by 7, Nicholas, what's 3 times 7? 21. 21. So then we got 21 out of the 35 on the first one. Okay, good. She have to make a note of what's going on before she changes into factor. This is not necessary. If you worry about losing a mark, all you gotta do is translate in translation of the factor to the action. Yes, I am completely on target and actually I think I'm above target at the moment, and that's because the maths teachers are constantly pushing me and pushing me, ensuring that I can get the best out of my GCSEs and maths. Uh, I would say my experience with maths has been uh, a rough one over the years. Sometimes I've been a bit demotivated, but now in Thistley Huff currently, I'm very motivated to keep on pushing myself to get the those higher marks, those higher grades. For the entire reason I'm in further maths, I want to improve my GCSE to get better results for a I do enjoy maths, yes. It is, it's just fun and it always pushes you beyond what you thought was possible. Do I enjoy maths? Yes, mostly because in class, as well as the reassurance that I get from my teachers, I've come to enjoy it a lot and as well practice on it and even understand it. Lovely. So we've seen Miss Stewart and we've seen all the, the math teachers and we've been in lots of classes. We've heard from the kids. Uh, some of those kids are from our further math class. 
um, which is the first time we've ever had it at Thistley Huff Academy. Um, we've had an amazing week this week, as, you, as you've seen. Uh, we've had a year seven disco, uh, which produced all of this. Um, there'll be a little slideshow after. Uh, we had the NHS in for year eight, and after half term they're coming in for year seven, along with a special guest on the Wednesday when we come back. And we've got our first ever newsletter. Um, it is half termly. You should have already received it, uh, created by uh, Mrs. Wall, uh, my PA, uh, Miss Mawson, and her team. And I, I thank them so much for making sure we get that um, out to you as soon as we possibly could. Um, have a wonderful half term. Please stay safe and uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much.